Alrighty. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, three houses. Finish my um. Sure, I don't like actually. I just finished my maddening run of um. Game. <laughs> Engage. I thought I'd do a new, uh, 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 you know what? I thought I'd, if I should do a new game plus or not. We'll do a non new game plus. Um, let's do it on a. Uh... It's on hard though. Hard classic. We'll do network play. It's this game. You're gonna need a bigger sword there. Is she wearing high heels in combat? A boss. Calculate. Ooh! Get him! Get his ass! Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You died! Oh. Die! Die! You took everything that I loved! Now, 
most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. Oh, very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. All right, the first choice of the game. Do we go with uh, female Byleth or male Byleth? On both. I kind of forget which one I like more. The, the female one does have an advantage of you get Sylvain for free. <laughs> like, oh, hot teacher. I'm joining your class. I forget which one I like the voice lines up more, though. I'll flip a coin. of you before who are you anyway um portal i see then you must have a name of sorts go on i was just due to fault name i hate character name i really wish they just have default name so that's your voice acted huh. all games so but that's my preference to the sound of human names. you must possess a day of birth as well Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Uh. My birthday. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Strange indeed. Familiar. I think it may be time to get another nap. <sighs> it is almost time to In what? What are we beginning? The auto advance in this is actually nice. I was playing Dio Field Chronicles and the auto advance in that is so bad. Like sometimes it'll just stop talking and it'll sit there for like 10 seconds before it advances. Hey, time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? It's like if you push the auto advance button, like it, it when you go between like dialogues, it would oftentimes turn off auto advance. And then when you turn it on, it starts the timer after you turn it on. So, like, if you turn it on, like, after they said their voice lines, you just sit there for, like, a minute. It's, it's, it's some work. Uh, I was dreaming about a war. Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Yes, father. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? 
Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. Bro, a bunch of kids like you wanted this hour. We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our Josija. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I Wait. That uniform. Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn. There were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Okay, now to make sure I don't save over one of my save data. Should I put it at the bottom? Skirmish at dawn. Wow, it's funny how much different the graphics are in this compared to Engage. This is far more gritty. That should take the wind out of their sails. Yes, I know how to move. Yes, I know. Oh, this feels so weird compared to Engage. I, I've only played Engage for a while, so this feels so strange. So foreign. Stay focused. It's because of you guys that I'm not dead right now. Thanks for that. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. Should I have held back? Oh, it's a different button to turn on enemy uh, range too. That's... You still? a strange aura about you you say you're a mercenary so show me what you can do i'll cut through thank you we are in your debt you wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this please lend us your strength let's work together to drive out these thieves We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. We're in the forest. We can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Rain types, yes, I. Get him, Edelgard. I forgot about like skill ups with uh, weapons. Wow, there's like a lot of mechanics in this game I forgot about. Let's engage. This is a fine opportunity. Use the combat arts I taught you. I must stay focused. Well, how was that? 
Good job, Adel. Dude, that was like right in the crotch. Well, that is what he's doing. As expected. Mercenaries in the village. Guess we'll have to deal with them too. I mean, it's a little worked up. Needs to calm down a little. Oh, Gerald's on the move. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Dude, linked attacks? I forgot all about that. Oh, it's basically just support. Okay. It's just a new name for support attacks. Okay. They have range weapons? Oh, why can they hit? Oh, they're. Nonsense. Oh shit, it's crust proct. That's the first time I took damage this mission. No, oh, don't take my experience, Gerald! By the food, killing blow to make sure by the gets experience. We must all do our part. Not the best level. Thanks. Where's your axe, Hidal Guard? Suddenly she doesn't have an axe, she just has a dagger? Like, what's going on there? Honestly, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> Well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? You can call me Sothis. But I Hi, Sothis. As the beginning. Hi, the beginning. Hmm. Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called the beginning. Who once called me that? What are you talking about? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? Hooey! That child just saved your life. 
And what does that make you? I am less than a child? Correct. You understand. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? Um, what happens when it resumes? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Oh, how rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Um, I'll just stay here and wait to die. <laughs> that hurt the relationship with her. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. Yes, I know. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go. Yes. You who bears the flames within, drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Now, he had plenty of time to do that, so why didn't you do that in the first place? Hey, over here! Huh? What happened to her axe, though? That's the question. Hey, did you just... The Knights of Seros are here! We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Uh, why him? All right. Prologue done. Why, thank you so much. I forgot all about the online statistics pop. Captain Jold, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. And drop just it. as loud as ever. Not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait. That isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Astri. Garig Mach Monastery. I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? I'm a bandit. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. 
You will join me, won't you? <sighs> What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Hmm, do they? They came in and did nothing. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. Uh, there is a poll up, by the way, in chat. For anyone, I don't watch House. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're so you have yet to pick. Experienced mercenary, and your father—that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker, former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Uh, I didn't know he was captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Clark. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. You will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, oh, I love the banter between these three. I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet? Or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? <laughs> <laughs> In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Fargus. Do consider returning Blathed. to with me. Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? I'll go to all of them. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. You know it. Got one axe user, one spear user, and one bow user. She is a refined young woman. But I feel as though she is always evaluating. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking. His easy smile is striking. That smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I felt the same. Oh, I am so sleepy when she's here. Oh, I may be sleeping, but...
Part one, white clouds, great tree moon, three houses. <gasps> they said the name of the game. Fire emblem, the icy spouses. The mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential. Just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. I love these like Renaissance paintings they do between the chapters. There's so much like artistic stuff like in Three Houses. That, like... The continent of Fodlin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long. The fish was a big. All right, looks like Blue Lions has won. Dynasty, the Adrestian. Oh no, woe is me, I have to play its borders, and so no. Bridget Nor is the home of the holy kingdom of Vargas, ruled by the royal family and its knights. I only have F Felix as a desktop back. A league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a Hey Gene, how's it going? Turmoil, I didn't see your chat there, it's blocked me. These three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Or Charlie chose? No, 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 that's fine, because I also had uh, an off-stream vote for uh, Blue Lines as well, so. Your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. I love the Blue Lines. It really is in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon. All the campaigns are good. So by the way, every single one of these like anime cutscenes, they have two versions of it because you can pick if you're male or female. There it is. I think that's really cool. They actually animated two different versions of this. You played 15 minutes. Couldn't get into it. Don't have time. I love this one. So I this this is not new game plus because I'm playing on normal because I'm gonna let anyone who wants to use a character like I'll be happy to use it. So I'm just playing on normal. No, I'm playing on hard. I'm playing on hard, sorry. But I'm not going to, like, super min-max or anything, so I didn't do New Game Plus. So I'll have to do a little bit of grinding and stuff. But, uh... I think I'll make it fun. But I have, like, almost 400 hours into this game. I have played every campaign, including the DLC. Some of them multiple times. But I just finished, literally tonight, my uh, Fire Emblem Engage Maddening playthrough. I finally finished it. No deaths. And I was like, I really like Engage. Engage is a very good game, but... Did the flow of time bring you here? I can play Three Houses again. <laughs> three Houses has some cool stuff going for that Engage doesn't. Engage has some cool stuff going for that Three Houses doesn't. But I think one of the things is that Three Houses is a lot more of a... It's been years since I've last set eyes on this. Gritty. Engage is a lot more video gamey, I guess you could say. Or more anime to a degree. Um, upbeat. But still very good. Engage is very good. I, I very much enjoyed Engage. I highly recommend it. I also highly recommend Three Houses. You know what? I just finished Engage. Been here before? never spoken of this to you before but many years ago i was a Unless one tenth my 11 hours to the archbishop lady Rhea. is engage a main story entry yeah it's it's on the switch um wait, 11 hours um yeah, it's on the Switch. It's a it's a like a normal full fledged Fire Emblem. It, it's really good. It's very good. It has a. Uh, it's kind of cool to like. I was a little skeptical because it has a mechanic where you use characters from like the other games in the series. So I was like, oh, it's just gonna be like some like fan servicey game or like gotcha mechanics or like. 
oh, your characters don't matter. The only people that matter is like, you know, oh, Ike going around. It's not like that at all. It's actually a very cool mechanic. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I went in skeptical and it came out. Game. I've already played through it twice. So <laughs> once on hard, once on ending. But I'm kind of done. See, like, one thing with three houses is there's five paths you can take. Four in the base game and then the DLC. So, like, there's a lot of replay value. Now, the beginning half is the same on all of them, which is a little annoying. But, like, the second half of the game is very different. Play. But Engage doesn't have any, like, thing like that. So, it's like, once you beat it once, it's the same game. Since I already finished it on Maddening. <laughs> but there's, like, other stuff to do. Uh, yeah. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. Really trying to RPGs all the time. time. Yeah, I understand that. Religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Final Fantasy 16 was great. I finished that recently. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. I finished four games in the past two weeks. I had a lot of games floating around, and I decided, you know what, I got buckled down and just finished. I finished Final Fantasy 16, Tears of the Kingdom. I finished the story in Tears, so I can slow mark with it. Um, Dio Field Chronicles, and my maddening run and engage. So it's a clean slate. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Jill. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Um, engaged story is happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child. I'm trying to think how long it is. Born many years after it's about the same wish I could introduce you as three houses. As one playthrough of three houses. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? Uh, something like that. Yeah, I would it'd say it's about. It might. It, it's probably a little bit longer than one playthrough of Three Houses. I would say, but there is um, like some DLC missions you can do, which you really should do. So that adds a little bit of time, and I would say the. You know, think about more. I think that there are more missions in Engage, but the stuff between missions doesn't take quite as long. Yeah, it's probably about the same as well. It's not. It's not as much content as Three Houses, but to be fair, Three Houses, I have four hundred hours in this game. Like, it's very long. <laughs> so, I, I think it's a good length. Uh, let's see. Um. And they do a lot of work in, like, voice acting and stuff in that game. Because there's, like, basically, like, every single character can have every single emblem engaged. And every single emblem engaged has unique voice lines, like, in combat. And, like, there's a lot of, like, support conversations. There's conversations between the emblems and the characters. Like, there, there's a lot, a lot of work went into that. I, I won't fault him if it's a little shorter. Um... I think uh, I think uh, he would be unwilling to say his name. He isn't all of Lady Rhea. The basic courtesy of telling us your name. Do you not think you are being a bit rude to the Archbishop? It's the Archbishop. I am. Right, I am just a wee mercenary. I am called Rhea. I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. In truth, I was only being polite. I already know your name. And a say it. Say my name. Say my name, Rhea. Say it. I thank you for saving those students. Say it. Academy. Say it. Hmm. Hmm. You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but why don't you say no? Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for an hour. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. 
I don't think I've ever seen anyone sit on that throne in the background. I just thought about that. There's a throne in here. I don't think I've ever seen anyone on it. Point in this game. Uh, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seraph. Could say no, Gerald. What are they gonna do? Uh, I'm Could sorry you? I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? As a mercenary? No, as a servant? Nothing like that. They want you to teach. These are the thoughts you have before in hours, yeah, pretty much. You're talking about the officers' academy, right? Well, the academy just happens to be short of professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. I love this. Gerald's just like, nope, not me, gotta go, bye. Yeah, I love it. He's just like, nope, and then dips. <laughs> and watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. There's a character that if we get to him, it won't be tonight. It's quite a while off. Competence and age are not necessarily. We'll play a game every time he's on screen. I am Hanneman, a crest scholar and professor at the Officers Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. You gotta play a game of Hanneman too. How many times are you gonna say the word crest? I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Well, he does kind of. Manuela, I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. And available. <laughs> she... God, she's so thirsty, dude. Um, there's a character later though that every time I would talk to him, like in the little like walking around the monastery portion, I'd always think of a number in my head. And that number was how many times he was going to say Lady Rhea in the conversation. I'd never guess zero. Uh, you're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middlefunk Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Uh, Hannah. Now, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect Said the name again. You have been briefed on the nature of each, have you? What up, Jean? Do you really not know? Whoop. Fine. I'll do you a favor and... She's available. <laughs> the Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses... Dude, she is a train wreck. <laughs> ...which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Empress. She is an absolute train wreck of a human being. The house is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. Apparently the uh, tradition in Fargus is to have your last name make zero sense in how it's said compared to how it's spelled. Fear the deer, baby! Woo! Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan. The leader of I do have a golden deer hat. To think that the next emperor, king, and sovereign duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a My switch also has a three houses, uh, like decal skin on it. Moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with It's more fun that way. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. She's crazy. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. You'll need Dude, she, like, yeah. No intention of changing your mind, Rhea? I cannot express enough how much of a train wreck she is. <laughs> but she's great. Good character. I have made my decision, Sedek. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is clearly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flame is now here with us as well. 
I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. Shop here! For those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I, shall I wonder who is that talking about now? I'm thinking about that. For now, I will have faith that you are placing your trust. So they wouldn't know that. They wouldn't know about. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Hmm. So, so I played through this several times. I'm trying to think of like who they're talking about is the suspicious character right now. Because the one person who they would have, it's not. I know they want to know that. So I'm trying to think of like who they. Th oh, I think I know who it is. I think I know who they're talking. Oh yeah, if you tilt the controller here, and you can push a button, you can make him uh, run around and jump and look. Me? I'm super suspicious. Yes, you are, Mustard. How's it going, buddy? Ooh, more anime. And again, I remind you, these scenes have been animated with both the guy and the girl. Pro tag. I love that. They go through the detail of making anime for both. I wish there were more of these cutscenes in the game. There are several, but I wish there were more, because they're so, like, they're so well done. So also just finish your P12 prog for the night. My brain is dead. Hope you're progging well. We'll sit down, relax, enjoy some Fire Emblem where you don't do any thinking. Leave the thinking to me. Hardest my spirit animal. Black Eagles has the most waifus, I'm just saying. Blue Lions have the most chads. There's my boy Felix! There he is! Not him, that's to do. There's Felix. See, still no one's sitting on that throne. She, she has crazy eyes, doesn't she? Like, that, that little smirk at the end, that smile, there's a hint of crazy behind it. It's not just me, right? Hey, while exploring, you can push buttons to move. Whee! Should I look at that? What's the run button? Okay, there I found it. No, I thought Professor didn't teach. With the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished... <laughs> let me know if you accept it. No! I'm not going to accept the fact that you want me to, like, just, you know, learn monastery. Oh, I get an iron sword of vulnerary and kern. I saw a bit of uh, Yatsuyu or whatever her name was. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, we need context. Uh, what game? In this game? There's no that name in this game. Oh, Stormblood. Oh, um. You mean the uh? Oh, oh, okay. Concerning the eyes. I see, I see. You're talking about Moon Bay. I got you. Okay. That I, recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had I see that as well, now that you mention it. Yes, that is, that is accurate. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Now I have, as I've said, played this game. I have like over 400, like about 400 hours in this game. I still am going to go around talking to every character every month. 
I'm going to do all that. I'm going to partially for, you know, for the viewing experience of so you get to see the game and the characters. And partially for me because I like it. <laughs> In a dungeon for giveaway responses? Oh, you're good, Mustard. You don't I appreciate you letting me know. Good luck in your dungeon. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I oh, the Empire! Myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressvelg. I am the prince Hressvelg. of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. <laughs> to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Sure. Hey, what up, Sharkfield? How you doing? Oh, I'm getting pings. I'm getting pings. Forgive me, I'm a bad streamer. Oh, shit. That's why I got pings. A oh, man. Picking up that Mudai for me. Alright, so here is uh, where you get to learn about the characters in the uh, houses. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Hey dude, you seem to be like just smashing everyone's wish list, man. Well, take a look through my character, see if there's anyone you want. So you can swap their display and look at them if you want. So basically this tells you a little bit about all the characters. You can see uh, their abilities, so like her abilities that she gets extra XP. And, oh I forgot, character people have strengths and weaknesses! So like the, when you level up your your uh, weapon skills, like some characters get more from some and less from others. So like Edelgard gets more for swords, axes, leadership, and uh, authority, armor, and then but she's not good with bow with magic. I forgot all about that mechanic. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vesper. I appreciate him, man. Thank you. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but the actually that's rather accurate. Still. If you can get past that. The irony of you getting that while I'm playing Three Houses and about to start up a Blue Lions game. I lost on me. Alright, so he gets extra damage with Gambits. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go through all these just for you guys to hear what she says. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Aya, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... Perhaps too pleased with its own status. Uh, Manuela levels up how? Asking for a friend. Uh, you can recruit Manuela later in the game. Oh no, I understand, dude. <laughs> He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him. And nothing else. See, Linhart is my spirit animal. Well, now. Any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. We could all be more like Linhart, right? Don't be bound by duty and 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 honor, and be bound by doing what makes you happy. Napping. He's the second son of Count Gurglis. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Hi, right, Sharkfield. Thank you so much again. I appreciate it. And have yourself a wonderful night. Sleep well, my friend. I'm happy you're happy. Thank you, Gene. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. Makes us both happy. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Good, good. Let the happiness flow through you. Unlimited happiness. The commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but 
Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officer's Academy. And the last but not least, Black Eagle. In fact, probably the best Black Eagle. Foglin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Petra does not speak uh, whatever language is supposed to be. Naturally, so she speaks like a lot of broken, but she's learning. And Petra is awesome. All right. How do I get Demetri to be my friend? Gatekeeper! What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Gatekeeper is one of the best side characters in this game, and I will not be hearing otherwise. Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Look at this monastery. Look how beautiful this place is. Like these clouds, like the, the thing is kind of like crazy. I, I just thought it was right now. And again, this is like what Gene said after 400 hours, these are the thoughts you have. Imagine this is your classroom, okay? Imagine you're sitting back here at the back. Look, I mean, look how much room is between everything. So, like, uh, like it's a lot of, like, unnecessary room. But imagine you're sitting right here. The professor's writing on that chalkboard right up there. How can you see anything? How can you read any of that? Look how, look how far away this is. And like, yeah, I know, college auditorium stuff, but usually they have, like, projectors or, like, really huge chalkboards. Or whiteboards. Not this. Like, that's not big enough. You, you, in order to write big enough for the people in the back to see, like, this board ain't doing shit, right? Like, you're getting, like, one equation on this board, and then that's it. How to get glasses in grad school? I believe it. All right, let's talk to some peeps. Hilda is, uh, like, best girl in this game. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marian Van Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia Von Ordeal. Ignatz is a forgettable character. Do not. I will not, Lysithia. Someone guessed? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's cave. Hi, I'm Leone Finelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? <laughs> oh, Raphael. Oh. What do you think? Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. My name is Lawrence Hellman Glosker. You will want to remember it. Lawrence is one of those characters you start off hating, but as you get to like know him more, you're actually like, oh, Lorenz is a pretty cool dude. <laughs> Once you crack that outer yeah. shell of assholeness. And you get to the soft, gooey innards of not assholeness. Pretty cool. Also, oh, there's Claude. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. Absolutely. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. Voiced by Joe Gigia. Ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. 
Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more? What do you mean by it? difficult? I'd like to know more about you, Claude. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. <laughs> Piqued your interest, oh. what's life? Um. A way to frame it it is the truth lorenz is like you first meet him you're like this guy is a straight up dick i think later in the game you're like i sympathize with lorenz <laughs> he's pretty cool he's a good character of gloucester territory if you haven't already picked up on him he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies man that said deep down he's really devoted and honest though i wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and actually that's about it. Yeah, I love Claude. <laughs> he's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Hilda is best girl I saw, also best girl in 14. Um, sorry, best girl in 14 is Yastola. Everyone knows that. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own <laughs> fun in this place, you know? So, um, Lysithia is great because one, she gets double XP or skill experience in battles, so it's really easy to train her skills up. But two, look at her base stats. Look at her base. She has nothing except for a shitload of magic and a decent amount of dex and speed. That doesn't change. Like, you get later in the game and she's just an absolute glass cannon. No health, no defense, okay resistance. But an insane amount of magic and dex. And you just walk up and nuke things. It's great. One cool thing in this game is not every unit, like not every character learns the same spells. If I made every single character the same mage class, they wouldn't have the same spell list. Uh, one of the things that she gets is warp, so she can warp people. And it's really good. She also gets a uh, dark magic spell that ignores enemy magic resist. So you just one shot people. It's really good. She's really good. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students. My kind of character? Hell yeah. If a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. I I have made Marianne is like they kind of like lean into like oh she's a healing character I made her into a holy knight and oh boy did she wreck things it's pretty good Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril it seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit if you look up lazy in the dictionary her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. <laughs> Dude, I love Claude. Claude is great. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. She is one of the least interesting characters in the game. But she's pretty good, though. She's quite a quite uninteresting this classroom belongs to the blue lion house our house leader is prince dimitri all of us here hail from the holy kingdom of Fargus. i know this is long-winded this is the uh longest part of the game talking to people after this it'll go a lot better hey there are you the mercenary who saved his highness it's an honor to meet you i'm sylvain jose gatier feel free to say hi whenever you like i always forget his middle name's jose just feels out of place i have not tried uh bg3 because our sunday night our sunday shenanigans uh, that we do every sunday night is that's what we're going to be doing but 
due to the people being on vacation and stuff, we won't be starting it for a couple weeks. I think we're starting it some. Some. So I've not played it. I am attempting to get zero spoilers. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. Hi Ash. This here is Dudu. Hi Dudu. Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued His Highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. I like Dudu. Should you ever require my strength? Please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. But see, those kind of games I actually generally prefer single player, but it's me. Well, if it's like actually, if it's real time, like uh, Icewind Dale and stuff, then multiplayer is a lot better. If it's like heavily story driven games, like I think you lose a lot of it in multiplayer sometimes, but that should be fun. It's four of us playing, so it'll be good. mercenary people have been talking about now that i think about it that does sound like something dimitri may have said i suppose you'll be enrolling at the officers academy too then well it's a pleasure to meet you my name is mercedes and this is my best friend i'm annette it's nice to meet you nice to meet you annette i forgot that you existed i have heard all about what you did from prince dimitri as a citizen of fargus i thank you he also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to scarring. That's our boy Felix. That's our boy. Must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and uh you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Felix, Ingrid, and Sylvain are old friends. Uh it's term based for having different takes on each scenario, I hope so. Oh yeah, definitely. For sure. Uh, yeah, we, we played through, um, Divinity, uh, Original Sin 2, so, uh, right. I assume it'll be a lot like that, how that went. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blake. Because I hope the scaling's a little better than the Holy game was. Of, of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor. Dude, look at how broad his shoulders are. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly. Dimitri is built like a truck. In case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? Me? Oh, um, please forgive me. It's Dude, he has 12 strength! I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. I think he has the highest base strength in the game. I never noticed that. Holy shit. That was close to D&D &D in a video game you can get. Not perfect, but darn close. Oh, that's cool. Also, he's not good with axes, which is kind of weird. Usually strength-based characters are axe wielders, but he is not. Strong. Oh, he's the same base strength as a duel. Damn. But once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Then again, look at the dude. The dude is also built like a truck. Look, look at this man. This man is built like a freaking tank as well. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. He has the weirdest ability. So like early game, well actually because I'm not doing New Game Plus, I won't have the really strong battalions. I just thought about that. When, when you do New Game Plus, you get to keep a lot of things, and one of them is like, your battalions. And so I get like stupid OP battalions at low levels and it makes the early game like a joke because they give you so many free stats. So his is kind of weird because like it's like, oh, if you don't have a battalion on, he does five extra damage, which is really high. But then you're losing a lot of the stats from the battalion, which some of them is like damage, some of them is like the hit evasion stuff. So it's like kind of like one of these like, eh. But then it's like at the late game, it's like, well. The good battalions will give you more than five damage anyway, so like, 
you want to have him on. But then it's just kind of like, well, if the battalion, like, goes zero endurance, then he's just doing more. Doesn't lose as much. But the late game battalions shouldn't run out of endurance. I don't know. It's very strange. Very strange. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar. But I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality. So I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Him having lockpick feels weird because he is not a thief in that all, at all. I feel like they basically were like, hey, <laughs> we didn't put a lockpick on any characters. <laughs> How about put it on Ash? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. There's no thief character in this game, so. Could he be a first playthrough but not New Game Plus character? Oh no, he's a New Game Plus character too. <laughs> Felix is very good. I think Felix is like, I I'm pretty certain Felix is the best swordsman in the game. The only competitions are like, you know, the main character, who's of course always strong, or like Petra. But he generally is a better strength growth than Petra, just not as much speed. He he's really, really, really good. And his crest is really good. That's part of it. Well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. <laughs> Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. Skirt chaser. I hear she was born to imperial. Oh no, you're not bad at all. It's good. It's an excellent question, and it's good thought. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Like, based on just his ability, absolutely. Like, that would make sense. But, like, his other stats are also really good, so, like... Yeah. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Oops. <laughs> Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Her stats are deceptive. Because you look at her stats and you go, oh, she's just like an all-around character. That is so far from the truth. Her strength rate growth is so insane. Or not strength, speed. Her speed growth is so nuts. Every time I've used her, I've capped speed. It's actually insane. <laughs> I appreciate your effort. Hey, quest complete. I right, continue exploring. I didn't talk to uh, the Black Eagle character. So how do I pull the map again? They're over. Wait, where are all the black eagles? <laughs> how do I zoom in? Uh oh. How do I zoom in? I, I zoomed in. I don't know how to zoom out. Okay. How do I get rid of this map? Oh no. <laughs> Aha. So where are the black eagle characters at? What kind of class does she fill then? Uh, Pegasus Knight. She's really good Pegasus Knight. Um, basically, her downside is she doesn't have good strength growth. So what I what I've done with her usually is is make her a Pegasus Knight, and, and she'll just be like an evasion tank. And so you can just drop her in the middle of the enemy, and she'll just dodge everything. But she won't do a lot of damage in return. But like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure you could make her other classes and she probably might do a little better. Like maybe she is better if you put her in something with a higher uh, strength growth uh, for a little bit to get her some damage and then change her to a speed base unit. But, you know. What? I don't talk to strangers. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great... Think you slept rotation through this dungeon? Oh my I god. 
Good night, Mustard. Thank you so much for stopping in. Sleep well, my friend. No, you are. Time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Yes. Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Why not right now? Whoa. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. Caspar's the most oblivious person in this game. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. Jeez, <laughs> Linhard. How'd you get into the academy with those manners? I told you Linhart's my spirit animal. Maybe we'll be in the same class. Oh shit. Linhart, goodbye. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. I heard you came to the aid of her highness. You have my most sincere thanks. That man's evil. Look at his face. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlin terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello, I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting you. Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. Good night, Jean. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. And now I'm going to return. Sleep well. How are you enjoying your time at the Yeah, I'm a pleasure to have you here with me, man. I'm going to be streaming, uh, try to stream a little more than I have been, so I'm going to be streaming between this and uh, Dragon Quest III, so. To take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions. Oh, Blue Lions, here we go! <laughs> to get to know each of them since you are new here we have decided to allow you first pick manuela and the letter baby charge of the remaining two houses which house will i choose so you have chosen the blue lions led by dimitri correct this has the best ending cutscene these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you, Flame. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Wait, does this mean our new professor is... No, I really can't believe it! But I was speaking to you so casually, as though we were companions. Oh, I am so sorry, Professor. You just look the same age as the rest of us, and... Oh, and, and I'm sorry I just said that to you. I really must watch my tongue. Mm, don't... I don't even have an option. I don't mind if you treat me as a friend or that. You say that, but... I just don't know about all of this. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but... If the professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is, if your highness can consent to such a thing. After all, we're already speaking this way to our future king, so we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. <sighs> I concede. 
If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't have to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, professor? Of course. I've heard of your skills. I needed to meet you in battle. Come to the training ground later. There, you will show me what you're capable of. You aren't wasting any time, are you, Felix? As it were, count me in for any such battle. <laughs> Pardon me, but I would also love to observe you in battle for future reference, if that's okay with you. Ash, I won't have you speak of merely watching. You should join us as well. <laughs> if you get injured, simply say the word and I'll patch you up straight away. Your Highness, do take care not to go overboard. You worry too much to do. I'll be fine, I promise. My companions, is there not something inherently wrong with crossing blades as a way to bond with each other? Huh, I never thought of it that way. Well, if that's how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground? Ingrid, my dearest friend, you really are too harsh on me. I don't remember him speaking like this. What do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch. If you'll find Did they, like, redo his voice lines? I'm certain we'll cause our fair share of trouble, but I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. I don't remember him ever being like, my dearest friend, my companions. That felt really weird. Also, I forgot, like, one of the big things this game does, which kind of is... I don't know, I understand why they do it. It's to, like, give all the characters, like, character. But there's a lot of times where it's just, like, your whole house is standing around, and then it's like you're talking about something, and every single character chimes something in. And it feels really just like... Okay, I didn't need to hear what every single one of you said about this. Yeah, just moved on. They don't do it all the time, but there are times like like right there, just like every character had like their one or two lines and like that was it. Okay. Alright, a new place to explore, thousand gold from the church. The calendar's only great. While you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed. Oh yeah, Mr. Crest. The power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow How me dare to you, filthy pleb! Absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power. We'll be here a little while said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And you believe I have one? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happen to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Uh, all right, let's find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon.
pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Man sees the crest and immediately kicks me out. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just leave him. He has some things to work out. With each moon, professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. Schedule. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. So I'm only allowed to explore it. Yeah, I should have probably done New Game Plus. I will take the DLC items, though. Okay, that'll make it easier. Oh, good, I get the... I can change some appearances. I could be a butler. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, I'm a police officer. You know what? I've never used this. I'm going to use it because it is so ridiculous. Oh my god. So ridiculous. Oi, buddies. Oi, mates are going to go play some rugby. These are mostly awful. <laughs> but there are some characters where it does look better than their uh, default. Alright, so we got some quests. I can't fast travel anymore because I haven't been there yet. Alright, let's go. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. You like wearing this dope ass hat? Breaking the law, Sadith. I will send you to the Velvet Room. Okay. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Not mine. I ain't gonna talk about civil strategy. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. I have a request. Once we go to take some seeds to the greenhouse, I can do that. Got to do seed. Here there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? Exactly. First time at the monastery. Please, allow me to show you the ropes. Yes, I know how to do all that stuff. Oh, professor. Have you adjusted to life at the academy? 
academy yet? Me, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Hey, teach. I hear there's gonna be a mock. I forgot that he calls you teach. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Oh. Loser. I'll go easy. I go hard. Hard that I wouldn't have gotten this far. Spotted Leone, Spotted Vendetta. first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Bitch, I am his son. Um, I, uh, was just heading back to my room. Bye. And she's gone. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. Hey, you do you, Bernie. Are we supposed to mock battle? New place. <sighs> the great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. I'm feeling a little sleepy too myself. He just doses off her right there. I wish I had that power. Oh, I wish I had that power more than anything. Oh, well, maybe like. Look at the plants too. The greenhouse here is really. Maybe like a few million dollars, but. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. You seem well informed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Yeah, why are you gonna this guy have lockpicking? <laughs> they really misplaced uh, the lockpick skill in this game. I would love to do some gardening. You can garden you get crops. You get crops from gardening. Plant stuff and get crops. Get crops from garden. Plan to do seed. Oh yeah, my professor levels E. Yeah, New Game Plus would have boosted that. It'll be fun playing this game again without New Game Plus because I've only I played it once and then I played New Game Plus like five times, so maybe even six. So it'll be nice doing like a fresh start again. It'll feel neat. Fishing not yet unlocked. By God, it's behind a paywall. You'll see characters are kind of cool. Oh, we have to talk to the most important person. The princess, the crown prince, and the heir to the alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. If you're a teacher here, you better watch your step. If anything were to happen to those kids, well, suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent almost a millennium establishing. Jesus. You can't go past here. Where's the gatekeeper? I need to talk to the gatekeeper. That's, uh... Dining hall. Hi, Petra. Many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you too. As forever, I will do my best trying. I will do my best to teach you. Where's the gatekeeper? Hello there, Professor. Well, Hi, Flynn. I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. 
That's a shame. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? Fishing! I will gladly go fishing for you, Flame. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to play. Perfect! Keep hitting that. There needs to be a standard of like what button runs in, in games. You have helped me so much. I'm busy. Do you want something? What up, Felix? Come to spar. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Look at his shirt. The dining hall stay open all the time. I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. There's buttons are doing some work. Let's find the gatekeeper. <gasps> Is that him? Nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision? Thank you for the follow. Go back Appreciate it. it. It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. I mean, Brett is a thing, gatekeeper. It helps you not repeat your past mistakes. Indeed. <laughs> As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodlan. Assisting Ooh. with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. Yeah. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? I can say with confidence, I have not. Are you looking for someone? Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? Let you know immediately if I see someone with the same color hair as you that looks really angry. Yes. I hear a member of House Fresco, the ruling family of the Empire, has entered the Officers Academy for the first time in ages. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. Oh. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. Since? In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years past. Where can I get one of these hats? Look at this. Look at this hat. I want that hat. Here's an idea. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. <laughs> it is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. The exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. You don't know anything about crests, and yet that's how they decide power in this world. Huh. What a great system, not... Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? Oh. Absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. You like reading? In a manner, yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. 
If I had said you ought to get sleep, she would have gotten so upset with me. If you treat her like a child at all, oh my, get wrath. Uh, professor. Where have I not been yet? Back here. That's what, oh, hey, Ritza. I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. All right. Listen to this. Wow, Ritza sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. He is in three hopes. He ran away during our outdoor training. I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. Not a chance. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. Joking, of course. Are you? I don't think you are. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. That man is not joking. Um, I still have a quest to do, so clearly I haven't been everywhere. Professor? Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? Sounds fun. I try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me. You're like not that. kidding. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Hey. What the? Keep hitting the wrong button. Um. Wait, why can I not? Oh, I see. Wait, no, why can I not fast travel? Fast travel's not unlocked yet. All right, let's have a meat. Have something to eat. Uh, what's today special? Wait, I can't even... I literally can't even invite... Oh, because the quest is to invite a girl to eat with. Alright. Um. Well, I want to get energy back in one of my people. This is just someone who really likes it, so let's go with Mercedes. Oh, yeah, but I can invite too. Alright. Weird, because Sylvain's not even going to be here. Sounds great. Hey, Professor Level to E+. Plus. Activity points. More monthly funds. Nice. Da, da, da. Well, on you. I don't remember if fishing takes activity points. I don't think it does. I think you just have to have bait. Pretty sure you just have to have bait. Okay. Oh, may as well get a little bit of fish, huh? Ooh, that's a big one! With insect larva? Crazy. Queen Loach. Small. Small. You only get three, so you always take the third. And just so happen we got a giant shadow. Yeah, that's a big one. It's good to get some basic fish too, just for like because they go into meat like normal meals.
Look at that. I don't have any more beat. All right. Um, I haven't been upstairs yet, so let's go check out the... Uh... Right. I don't have fast travel. Let's just scope it. Oh, I, apparently there's a lot of people I haven't talked to. This is the uh, longest time of talking to people. So I, I apologize. I know I've literally only played the two talking to people, but again, I want this to be an experience the whole game for everyone. You know, so you get to see more than just the combat. Experience the game. As hey, Ferdinand. Do you know the provenance of our class name? The Eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. It's pretty obvious. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. But why is the flag red? Why is it red? Why is it red? Hey there. That remains one of the major crests. Before the first day of class, those people are simply exhausting. Story: The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Fargus. Lug, the king of lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Lug, what a name. And now someone can teach me about the Golden Deer. Hi. This is the Golden Deer house. You're in charge of a different house, right? Just talking to you. We won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. Look, I will stop by and say hi. The house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name? Fear the deer. Golden deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. Does indeed. Thank you for teaching me about the gold. Sadie's is around here somewhere. I haven't spoken to her. GP. Say days. There you are. Right. Before I came to the officers' academy, I attended a school of magic in the kingdom capital. Yes. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. That's sweet. Okay, downstairs is done. Now I have to figure out where to go upstairs because I'm so used to fast traveling everywhere. I think it's over here. Loading. Really? Really? Wes. Alright, let's go talk to. Bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! It's weird how so some smaller the second floor is from like the first. Or it's kind of only been a little bit up there's oh hey it's dead the church has changed a lot since my time said it hanneman manuela Yuritsa, and many of the knights none of them were around 20 years ago even hanneman it's kind of weird what office is this There's a dope poster. I've never seen that before. 
Let's go. I'd hang that up in one of my rooms. Actually, I'd probably hang it up in my room. Right here, Apparently, like this room. There is to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, but I hope you understand that I have far more important things on my mind. My research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is something of a challenge. Frustrating, yet also quite intriguing. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. No, perhaps some blood. A couple of drops on the device are all I need. I don't think I've ever actually done this. Oh, thank you, Professor. Those few drops of blood are invaluable to my research. Oh, so much more to learn. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? Don't worry, though. Should you get injured, I will care for you all through your recuperation. I will see to you, oh so very, very personally. Jesus Christ, Manuela. Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Why am I talking about this? Oh right, it was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. Oh, thank you, Professor. Nope. Right, so, okay. It shows that we had like new dialogue it's because I hadn't clicked on to hear him say that, even though he said it might. Alright, last two people, and then we're done exploring. I encourage you to make good use of them. We're not. Hey there. Say now, Tomas has served as the monastery's librarian for decades. Actually, he was away from Derek Mark for a spell, but he returned to his post last year. There is no one as familiar with the monastery's archives as he is. All right. During his birthday, we'll send him some flowers. Much appreciated. Thank you. It's finally time for the mock battle. Um, I was going to do this mock battle, but it is pretty late. By the time we get through the cutscenes and do the battle, I mean, it's going to be really late. So I think I'm going to just halt there. It was a lot of running around the monastery, I know, but we, next time we can get right into it now. We got a lot quicker next time. So, um, yeah. So we'll be, uh, I'll be streaming this again. Um, I might do tomorrow, so I don't think we have. But it might be this, or it could be um, Dragon Quest 3. He'll be those two games. So, um, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. Catch you in the next one.